Not many shows adapted from books really follow the same setting, but we can be certain that Heartstopper is a hit because the author of the books is the same as the writer on the show. Despite the author's influence on both, there are certain differences between the show and the books. New characters One of the biggest differences between the books and the show is the inclusion of and changes in character. If you read the graphic novel, you'll recall that Charlie had a close friend named Alid Last in his circle of close friends. As a fan of Heartstopper, you'll quickly notice that Alid had been omitted from the Netflix adaptation. Alice mentioned that she had to go through with letting Alid go because his character appeared to be somehow tied down and that she needed a character whose actions could definitely fly. In the series, Alid is exchanged for a more stable character called Isaac, who is portrayed by Toby Donovan. In fact, Isaac actually played the same role as Alid did in the graphic novel in the first part of the series. The only difference is that Alice thinks this new character has a way of evolving more interestingly in a case of any continuation in the TV adaptation of the show in the future. Another interesting addition to the character list is Imogen, who is portrayed by Rhea Norwood. Imogen played the part of a girl who was in love with Nick. Like Alice mentioned, Imogen was added in a bit to make the series more dramatic. While speaking of the Imogen character, Alice said, I wanted Nick to have a friend who wasn't one of the lads. We knew we needed a bit more drama and angst in the story and Imogen is kind of the one who brings the drama in mid-season. Alice also mentioned how she'd grown to love the new characters in the show when she said, I've really fallen in love with these characters and I think they really fit the world of Heartstopper. We believe the fans of the show are sharing the same opinion in support of these new characters because they truly made the series wholesome. More drama. Alice Oseman, the writer of the Heartstopper graphic novels, is also responsible for bringing to life the TV version of her most famous books. Alice admitted that some of the changes were inevitable so as to fit the books into what could fit a TV format. While speaking to the press, the writer said, Some things that are in a comic just don't work for TV. Like Heartstopper, the comics is a very low-stakes story. Problems are resolved pretty much immediately, which isn't normally how TV works, so we had to add a bit more drama, a bit more angst into the show. The drama which develops around Nick's feelings for Charlie and trying to come to terms with it needed more time and plot actions to make the viewers grow along with the show. Alice explained why that was necessary when she said, I think the main thing that we changed was probably slowing down Nick's journey of self acceptance. I think in the comics, Nick has a bit of a crisis, but then he's kind of okay. But in the show, we've really spread that out a bit more and given him more time to come to terms with himself. And because of that, there's a bit more drama and angst in episodes 4 and 5. The fans would readily agree with Alice on this difference, as it made the TV adaptation even more endearing and fun to unravel. Charlie's Little Brother The graphic novel features Oliver Spring, the Spring's adorable six-year-old younger brother. His role isn't quite that important, and the fans think that could be the reason why Alice decided to omit him in the TV series. Alice definitely thought removing Oliver Spring, the younger brother, of Charlie and Tory Spring would do a lot of characters on the show good by giving them more screen time that would have been allocated to Oliver. Alice put into consideration the stress that would have been involved in getting a child actor to play the role in the show. While explaining why Oliver, who featured in the graphic novel, was omitted from the show on her Instagram, Alice said, Oliver has little to no plot significance other than being adorable. And hiring a young actor has a lot of difficulties and challenges. Less Oliver means more screen time for other characters. The fans of Heartstopper don't seem to miss Oliver just as much. Just like Alice pinpointed, his role might not be as significant if he were put in the show. More representation The stories that happened at the Higgs Girls School between the characters Elle Argent, Tara Jones and Darcy Olsen were downplayed in the graphic novel. The graphic novel focused on more stories from Truant Boys School instead, which revolves around Nick, Charlie and their group of friends. But in the show, the fans are drawn into the struggles queer women encounter and how the girls have chosen to deal with them. Unlike the books, where the story is more focused on the main characters, the show explores the lives of Charlie's friends too too and the romance they all experience. The big difference is that the viewers can see more of what's allowed in the books, and that's the best thing a fan could wish for. Alice is able to go to that length to make that happen due to TV adaptation. Outfit change The graphic comic series Heartstopper started as far back as 2016. The outfits trending for teenagers for most of the characters then are different to what is trending and in vogue now. The styles of dress in the graphic books are a bit updated in the adaptation of the Netflix series Heartstopper. The difference in costumes of these outfits is noticeable in episode 3 of the show in the characters Tara, Darcy and Imogen's party outfits. The Teo Sue character in the TV show also has an inclusion of a funny hat, which wasn't in the graphic books. The hat that has been added to Teo's outfit has caused many stirs and open discussions on Twitter, with one user saying, Heartstopper is very good, I love the episodes, but what is going on with Teo's hair? He looked like a McDonald's sign. There are many other funny entries regarding the outfit changes of the characters that the fans cannot help but notice. The difference isn't that awkward, as it's expected to add spice and drama to the 
show. First book betrayal. Many fans expected the Heartstopper series to follow in the same sequence as the graphic books did, but the show might have skipped or fast-forwarded through what happened in the first book, to show more of what transpired later in the subsequent books in the graphic series. For example, the fans are certain that Nick didn't disclose his sexuality to his mother in the first book of the graphic series, whereas he actually did come out to her in the first part of the TV show. In the Netflix show, there is also an instance where Charlie spends most of his recess hiding out in the art teacher Mr. Ajahi's classroom. But according to the graphic books, Mr. Ajahi wasn't involved till the latter part of the story, and he wasn't really a huge factor in giving out advice to Charlie like he did in the TV series. The first book kept a suspenseful ending note when Nick and Charlie had their first kiss at Harry's party, and Nick left Charlie just as soon. But in the series, the Heartstopper first season couldn't have ended that way, as Alice must have thought it could have made a lot of viewers angry as to why the first part had to stop at such a crucial scene. The fans are definitely glad the show is different from the books in this regard, as they were able to get more from what happened thereafter without having to go through the pain of guessing. Charlie's Wallpaper The wallpaper on the lock screen of Charlie's phone was differently portrayed in the show than it was in the graphic books. Many fans have been intrigued by the wallpaper that reads Gay Panic, which has gotten lots of media attention on the internet. The written text wallpaper is on a peach-coloured background. According to the graphic novels, however, the wallpaper had the NASA logo swapped with the word gay, and fans were rather surprised that the wallpaper had been changed in the Netflix series instead. According to Alice, she said they tried to keep the NASA wallpaper, but NASA had objected to the opinion. A Twitter user expressed how disappointed they had been about the wallpaper change, said, Can we talk about the fact that we'd never saw the gay NASA wallpaper in Charlie's phone and instead we got a gay panic wallpaper? Apart from the fact that most fans are disappointed with this difference, many others are actually excited about the change and have begun to download and make use of the wallpaper and also create their own designs using the wallpaper format. Alice had a good point about removing the NASA logo, and the fans are cool with it. Targeted Age Group The graphic novel's intended audience was middle-aged and older adolescent boys and girls. Nick's lines feature some iconic statements that suit the age group intended for the graphic novel. Alice actually professed that the TV show had been changed a bit from the books to make it more suitable for younger teens. To make this possible, some of the iconic lines had to be toned down, and also swearing needed to be left out. Alice made her point clear when she explained, the comics are definitely young adult, mid-teens, older teens, but with the show, we wanted to be accessible to young teens and tweens, which is why there is no swearing, for example. We really just wanted to be accessible for as many people as possible. But particularly in our minds were the young viewers who are like 11 or 12. They'll be able to sit and watch the show safely. We are glad that Alice decided to put the younger generation into consideration while working on the TV series. Fans can now blend in with the coming-of-age series, which literally means a young person trying to find their feet in a world of many differences. Those are the biggest differences that are unnoticeable between the Heartstopper show and the graphic books. Do you think these changes are worth it? Which of the changes do you find most interesting? Let us know in the comments. Bye!